Principles of Symmetrical Components This is the first part of the series of the introduction to the principles and theories of symmetrical components used in the power system. Now understanding symmetrical components is not difficult. It's actually quite easy to learn, but it's sometimes presented in the most confusing and impractical manner. Our goal is to get an intuitive understanding of symmetrical components. In this introductory series, we'll go step by step and explain what symmetrical components are, the value of symmetrical components, how do we use them in setting circuit breakers and relays. We'll look at some of the examples of symmetrical components as well. Remember, our principal goal is to get an intuitive understanding. Types of protective relays and design requirements. This video series will focus on the most common power system protective elements, which is relays, that are used in electrical power systems. In this part, we will introduce you to the design and working mechanism of a relay based on protection systems. We will give you a brief overview of different types of relays that are to be discussed in the coming parts. Protection coordination video tutorial. And when we talk about protection, we're talking about power system protection and how coordination plays a role in power system protection, okay? So in this video tutorial, we'll ask ourselves what is coordination and why coordinate at all? Fault analysis in power systems part 1a. And in this series, we'll be going over the analysis of the various types of faults that occur in power systems and at the same time intuitively understanding the hand calculations involved. Now when we talk about hand calculations we're actually talking about symmetrical components, positive, negative, and zero sequence components because without those symmetrical components it would be very very difficult to calculate fault currents. Fault analysis using waveforms. And in this series, we're going to look at a particular article by Schweitzer Engineering Labs. Uh, the author is David Costello, and it, the article is called Event Analysis Tutorial. And we'll be going over this particular tutorial. There's part one, and in part one, we it lays out the problem statements, which has uh, several examples of uh, fault analysis. And then part two, which is this part right here, it uh, essentially gives us the, the key. So we're going to be going over both parts, and they are publicly downloadable so you can just search for event analysis tutorial and then search for this author and you should be able to get this PDF. In this video tutorial part one we're going to be reviewing a book by Granger and Stevenson and specifically on chapter number 12 on unsymmetrical fault types and uh, the topic of this uh, conversation is uh, building the symmetrical component uh, sequence network diagrams. In this chapter we go over a lot of different types of faults uh, involved and, um, and we'll be talking about three phase faults, single line to ground faults, line to line fault and double line to ground fault. These four different fault types and again uh, really delving into how to construct the sequence network diagrams based off of the type of fault and the equations that are involved. <laughs> It is dedicated to the people who make power and energy work and they make sure that power systems are safe, reliable, operable, maintained, protected and well designed. We've been creating videos since 2015 and we focus specifically on the fundamentals. The idea is that we like to promote asking, learning and sharing information and concepts about power systems using various platforms like YouTube, forums and webinars but it does take time and money to continue delivering high quality video tutorials. It takes time and money to maintain our tools and systems, and it takes time and money to engage with our community. The bottom line is this, our community wants to learn and share information and concepts about complex power systems through video tutorials, webinars, and forums. General Pack creates, facilitates, and maintains all of these things while specializing and making incredible video tutorials. Our goal is incredibly simple. It is that we make power systems intuitive, open, and free to everyone, everywhere. Thank you for supporting us.